Hey guys, Sturge here, and today I'm going to be doing a huge Channel 12 upgrade spinning spree with a bunch of magic items in the Town Hall and the Gold Pass to see how much progress I can make in this video. So let's go ahead and switch over to the progress base and get some upgrades going. We're going to start off with some gold upgrades, going to go around the defenses here. That's mainly what I will be upgrading with the gold so far. The first one's going to be a little small upgrade. It is getting the new Tesla up to level 9 up to par for town hall 11 a level here 2.48 million gold in a four day nine hour time getting that down there not too bad so now we have that tesla down we're gonna get a couple of air defenses we will be using that wizard tower we'll be upgrading that later on in these defenses but we're going to start off by upgrading one of the air defenses up to level 10 at 5.2 million gold and at almost eight day time that we're going to be skipping by using a book of building to get this done up to level 10 there we go not too bad we're gonna head down to another air defense and get this one up at the same price, 5.2 million gold, another eight day time. We don't have a book right now, but if we head into the gold pass, we can collect our first magic item out of the bunch that I still haven't collected and upgrade this up to level 10, finishing that off immediately and leveling up to 155, not too bad there. And we only have 1.1 million inside of our storage but we have a ton of loot around the outside because i haven't really been attacking on this account or really doing anything on this account but we're going to be collecting some of the loot from the loot cart and the loot from the treasury and that was a little bit too much but we're going to be upgrading one more air defense up to level uh, 10 here at 5.2 million gold and another eight day at time they're not too bad we're gonna let this run for now i think i will be buying one of the packs inside of the shop maybe even these three packs here getting all of these for about 10 bucks to get a few books and a few uh potions for uh, the base here to work on and get a bunch more loot around the basement we have three bullets available and we have um, not too much gold. We do have a rune that we can use. We also have some clan games rewards, which I already have selected which ones I want. But I do want to decide whether I want the Book of Fighting or the Dark Elixir Room. Probably the Book of Fighting. So let's head over to the lab here and get some of these upgrades going in here so we can collect the clan game rewards. We don't have too many upgrades left. We have a few Dark Elixir upgrades, the Siege Machines, but I don't really care about upgrade. I think I will be upgrading those last. The one upgrade that I haven't done yet is actually surprisingly the Goblin up to a level eight at five million Elixir in a six day, nine hour time. We'll get that going there. I'm not sure why I haven't maxed it out yet. I should have probably done that first just because the main farming army that I use to get a bunch of loot really quickly is the Sneaky Goblin. So we'll get this up to level eight using the Book of Fighting there completing that so we can head over to the uh, clan games here and collect all of the six rewards i didn't have uh i didn't get enough points throughout the clan game because i was working on a bunch of accounts as you see here we have so many accounts at four thousand, but i wasn't able to get this one up to four thousand in the uh, time span of the clan games so we have another book of fighting so we're going to collect some elixir from around the base once again collecting it from the treasury we still have some inside of there we can use later on but now we're heading back in here and i think i will be upgrading uh we already have actually we don't have the pekka up it is a 6.1 million elixir cost in an eight day time and actually instead of doing this one i think i will be upgrading the electro dragon up to level three here for a 6.1 million elixir cost in an almost eight day time just like that pekka we're gonna get that and upgrade it using a book of fighting the last one we have here uh, we don't have too many elixir upgrades we just have three left and we're gonna have two after this one because we're gonna head into the leak shop and get a hammer of fighting for 120 medals. I have a bunch saved up throughout the past few months, but we're gonna get the P.E.K.K.A up to level eight, skipping the eight day of upgrade time and saving 6.1 million elixir and getting that up to level, I think it was eight, yeah, level eight there, not too bad. We still have to get something going inside of here, so why don't we get the wizard up to level nine for a 5.2 million elixir cost and a seven a day at time, getting that done there. And gonna let that run, but we do have some lab potions. We could honestly get an upgrade going uh, throughout the next day tomorrow. So we need to do, actually we don't have enough, but we do have some inside of here I did forget about. 
can go down here and buy three more, which I think should be enough. We'll collect that free elixir, heading back down, and we will boost this once again. That will be enough to get that uh, wizard completed so we can upgrade one more thing, which might be uh, the last elixir troop, the giant, or it could be uh, probably the golem or something else. We'll figure it out, out when we get to that point there, but we have three builders still available, and we have a ton of dark elixir, so I will be upgrading the queen hopefully up to max level we do have a two book of uh, heroes available so why don't we get the queen up to level 63 at 166,000 dark elixir and a five day upgrade time and we'll be using a book of heroes on her to get that finished immediately and we are about a hundred thousand off from getting the queen up to level 64 if I do go around the base I don't think I do have enough. If we head into the raid shop and buy the dark elixir here, we are about 50,000 off. Uh, I think we do have some loot inside of here. Yeah, we got 20,000 there, another 10,000 here, and we are 20,000 short. So I think I will head out. I don't have any uh, troops. So I think I will just quickly head out with my heroes and get as much dark elixir as I can. And there we go, after doing a few of the Town Hall 12 practice uh, bases here and getting 6,000 from each of them, and also finding a decent raid with 10,000 Dark Elixir, actually almost 11,000 there. We're up to 180,000 Dark Elixir, so we're gonna head back over to the Queen and get her up to level 64 at 170,000 Dark Elixir in a five day time there, not too bad. We don't have a book of heroes, but if we head into the uh, Gold Pass, we can get that there and then use that on the queen to get her up to 64 and the final level instead of getting more dark elixir we're gonna head into the leak shop and buy a hammer of heroes to get her up to level 65 which is max level for town hall 12 skipping five days of upgrade time and 175 thousand dark elixir getting that done there for the first hero maxed at town hall 12 we'll move her over to actually we can't move her anywhere over to the max side of the base so we'll just do that later on off camera we still have a three bills available and we still have to get a bunch of loot from the season bank so i do have to at least keep one builder free we have almost enough to get the uh what's it called the last air defense up to the max level we have a ton of loot inside of here which i should probably collect yeah i will collect this stuff with all this loot I think it's about 3 million of each for gold and elixir. So we'll collect all that. We don't have too many stuff left. We do have to use some runes. So we'll have to spend some of that on some walls. We're gonna get one more air defense up to level uh, 10 at 5.2 million gold in an eight day time again. I think I will now actually purchase some of the packs here just so I can get the two book of heroes and the book of building just because I don't need to use them right now. We'll use them uh, tomorrow uh, once we get the season bank. So let me get these three packs real quick. And there we go, that is the final pack of the day. We have almost 12 million elixir. So I think I will be heading over to the walls and getting some separated there so I can get working on those. But we're gonna be using one of the book of building, or actually the only one I got from the packs there on the third air defense up to max level. This is last wizard tower, actually I think I forgot about that. Yeah, I did. We head over to the elite shop, we'll buy this book or the hammer of building and use it on the final wizard tower up to level 11, skipping almost 6 million of cost in an eight day time there. Getting that final wizard tower up to max level, getting pretty good, a decent amount of defenses maxed today. And as well as that queen, we still have a three builders I do have to go get a bunch of loot. So let's head over to the walls and get some walls upgrade going. I start off the wall upgrades by upgrading these three walls using 4.8 million gold and then using 11.2 million gold on these seven walls here. And I had a ton of uh, wall rings sitting in my magic items. So I decided to upgrade these 12 walls using 24 wall rings. We still have some runes to use. So I think I will head over to um, both the gold and elixir storages and fill these here to get more wall upgrades going so that we can head over into the gold pass and start collecting some of these 
of the uh, magic items. We got some more wall rings there. We still have to get that dark elixir room. We got the elixir room down. Book of fighting. I didn't know I had that in there. Uh, I could have used another book of fighting somewhere. Uh, but that is basically it for the magic items. Continuing on with the wall upgrades, I upgraded these walls here with 12.8 million gold and another set of walls worth another 12.8 million elixir. Now we have to go out and farm a ton of loot to get the season bank filled up as much as possible. I already have almost 3 million gold elixir and 50,000 dark elixir and I have two hours left to do it. So I think I will have enough time to fill that season bank using the sneaky goblin. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll come back once I have the bank filled. And log it on the next day. We have the season bank now in our storage. We have 38 million of each for gold and elixir and almost 450,000 dark elixir. We're going to clean up the base a little because I was attacked a couple of times. And we're going to get back over to the progress base and get some more upgrades going over here. And I also did buy the gold pass once again, so we can get the 10% boost for all three of the uh, perks over on the gold pass. And so now we have three builders still left to use and to spend all of this loot. I think first off, we're gonna head back into the lab that has finished from using all of those resource potions and then start with a dark elixir upgrade. And I think we will be upgrading the golem up to level eight because it is pretty good for attacking at town hall 13s. So we'll upgrade this 100,000 dark elixir and a six and a half day upgrade time. We'll let that run for the entire six days. And we'll actually use the remaining lab potions we have three of them so take them three days off of the golem upgrade there not too bad we still have 300,000 dark elixir and i will be keeping that and won't be spending any more in this video because the clam world leagues just started so i do have to keep that or i'll keep all of my heroes up for as long as possible but we're gonna be upgrading the grand warden as i said that to level 22 here at 8 million elixir and a five and a half day time of upgrade time we'll get that going but we do have a couple of book of heroes we got from the packs and elsewhere on the base so we'll use that to finish off the grand warden and then upgrade him again up to level 23 at 8.1 million elixir and another five and a half day time we'll use that final book of heroes on that to get him up to level 23 that is the remaining of the hero upgrades for today. We still have 22,000 or 22 million elixir. And I think we will be upgrading most of it with our elixir on walls. So we'll upgrade this amount for the rest of this row of walls using elixir. And then we'll uh, separate some more wall segments so I can get some more wall upgrades going. On to the final wall upgrades of the day. We have this set of walls here being upgraded with 16.2 million elixir. And then onto the other set of walls with 23.4 million gold there we still have a 14.9 million gold left to spend around the base and it will be on three of the archer towers going up to level 16 at 4.77 million gold and five and a half day time for all of these here we're gonna let them run throughout the entire five and a half days upgrading this last one here there we go we have all five builders going so now we can use the however many uh, builder potions we have. And it looks like we have about four, I think I used there, five. We have a decent amount of uh, loot still, but we don't have any builders. So that is gonna do it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did and wanna see more Tunnel 12 content on the channel just like this, check out the playlist I have linked on the screen now. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.